Welcome to Schedule Anywhere. This video will provide a high-level overview of the basic functionality of Schedule Anywhere. When viewing a schedule, you can select how many days you want to see on screen. The options are 1, 7, 14, 28, or 42 days. Employees on the schedule can be sorted by name, position, department, location, or seniority. If you use divider rows, employees will be sorted between dividers. To view different dates, use the date selector. You can use the calendar to pick the date you want to go to, or click the previous or next arrows. If you are in a 7-day view, clicking the next arrow will take you to the next 7-day period. If you are in a 28-day view, clicking the next arrow will take you to the next 28-day period. You can add, move, or delete employees, dividers, or requirements from the Edit menu. You can also add employees to the schedule by clicking the Add link at the top of the Name column. To edit an employee's profile, click the employee's name. Assigning schedule information can be done a number of different ways. You can double-click a day on the schedule, select a shift, select an explanation, and type a note. Or you can use the shift and explanation drop-down lists and note entry area. Or use copy schedule or schedule multiple under the tools menu. Use the reports menu to print your schedule view schedule statistics, and find specific schedule information. Use the Setup menu to customize your Schedule Anywhere account by creating schedules, shifts, shift tags, filters, highlighters, and coverage watches, and to set up your employees. Use the Messaging menu to send messages and review requests. You can submit time off, schedule, cover, and swap requests under the Requests menu if you have been given these permissions. If you have access to multiple schedules, they will appear in a drop-down list in the top right corner. Employees can be added to multiple schedules. The total hours shown for an employee includes all scheduled shifts across all schedules. If a shift is assigned on a different schedule than the one you're viewing, the shift will be grayed out. This gives you the ability to see when an employee is scheduled to work on other schedules without having to switch between schedules. You can mouse over a day to see schedule details and over an employee's name to see contact information. You can add requirement rows to your schedule, which can be used in many different ways. You can enter a number into each day or day part that represents people, hours, customers, units, or any other scheduling variable you staff against. Requirement rows work in tandem with coverage watches. Coverage watches are used to track how many people or hours are scheduled each day or day part. Along with requirement rows, they can perform a number of different calculations, such as variances, sums, products, ratios, and percentages. Requirement rows and coverage watches are an excellent way to ensure you have proper coverage. To learn more about requirements and coverages, please watch the videos Setting Up Requirements and Setting Up Coverage Watches. You can use filters to show only a specific group of employees on the schedule, as well as relevant dividers, requirement rows, and coverage watches. You can filter by position, department, location, skill, explanation, time off, shift, tag, or a combination of these fields. To learn more about filters, please watch the video, Setting Up Filters. If the Post Schedule feature is activated, schedule information will be hidden from employees until the manager posts the schedule. To post a schedule, click the Post link, change the Post Through date, and click the Post button. To learn more about posting, please watch the video, Posting Schedules and Communicating Changes. Thank you for your interest in Schedule Anywhere, the leading employee scheduling app. For more information, please go to ScheduleAnywhere.com or call 1-800-874-8801.